Hello all. Welcome to the learning series on cybersecurity. In this video, we shall understand data loss prevention technology, how it works, why it is used, and its various types. Let's get started. Data loss prevention is a strategy for making sure that end users do not send sensitive or critical information outside the corporate network. The term is also used to describe software products that help a network administrator control what data end users can transfer. It uses business rules to classify and protect confidential and critical information, so that unauthorized end users cannot accidentally or maliciously share data, whose disclosure could put the organization at risk. For example, it can detect and block someone sending mail to their Gmail account, or someone uploading data to their Dropbox account. Adoption of DLP is being driven by insider threats and by more rigorous state privacy laws, many of which have stringent data protection or access components. In addition to being able to monitor and control endpoint activities, some DLP tools can also be used to filter data streams on the corporate network, and protect data in motion. It may also be referred to as data leak prevention information loss prevention or extrusion prevention products. Let's understand how it works. It uses rules to look for sensitive information, that may be included in electronic communications, or to detect abnormal data transfers. The goal is to stop information such as intellectual property, financial data, and employee or customer details from being sent, either accidentally or intentionally, outside the corporate network. Organizations use data loss prevention tools to protect personally identifiable information and comply with relevant regulations. Protect intellectual property critical for the organization. Achieve data visibility in large organizations. Secure mobile workforce and enforce security in bring your own device environments. Secure data on remote cloud systems. Let's understand various components of DLP. First is, securing data in motion. It is the technology installed at the network edge, that can analyze traffic to detect sensitive data sent in violation of security policies. Next we have, securing data at rest. It uses access control, encryption and data retention policies to protect archived organizational data. Next we have, Securing data in use. Some DLP systems can monitor and flag unauthorized activities that users may intentionally or unintentionally perform in their interactions with data. Next, we have securing endpoints, where endpoint based agents can control information transfer between users, groups of users, and external parties. Next, we have data identification. It is crucial to determine if data needs to be protected or not. Data can be defined as sensitive, either done manually by applying rules and metadata, or automatically via techniques like machine learning. Lastly, we have data leak detection. DLP solutions and other security systems like IDS, IPS, and SIEM, identify data transfers that are anomalous or suspicious. These solutions also alert security staff of a possible data leak. I hope the content was useful. Please subscribe to the channel to stay on top of all the upcoming videos. Thank you.